In this tutorial, we will be highlighting the Group Acquire feature in Aura. Group Acquire is a feature that allows the investigator to set up a protocol that will take multiple images sequentially over time. There are various experimental scenarios in which this ability is critical. As a, for instance, in bioluminescence, when one wishes to acquire peak bioluminescence signal, but doesn't know exactly when that will occur post-injection of the luciferase substrate, typically D-luciferin, one will necessarily need to take multiple images and compare the signal intensity over time to find out what the peak signal value is. This can readily be done by taking multiple images in a protocol used in group acquire. Additionally, let's say you are looking at multiple floor force signals within your animal model system, and you need to use different excite emit filter pairs in order to get the signal of each floor for. Well, group acquire can be very useful in getting all the individual signals of the floor force in your model system. So how does group acquire work and how do you set it up? Well, let's start off by setting up a group acquire. This involves going up to the top left-hand corner of the home page of Aura and selecting Group Creator Editor. This will open up a secondary window off of the primary window of Aura, and this is the Group Creator Editor window. And in it, you can set up and define multiple image acquisitions with many of the settings set up in the middle box, while the value for X-ray and FOV parameters can be set up off to the left. Along the top, you select either fluorescence or luminescence, and in our case, let's go ahead today and do luminescence. We'll do just a default one second exposure with two by two bin f-stop 1.2. Now here's the neat feature of group acquire. You can set up multiple acquisitions. We'll go ahead and let's say duplicate this five times. And now what we have is a set of a total of six acquisitions and you'll note that between each acquisition, you have the option to delay the acquisition of the following image by X number of seconds. This will be very useful, let's say, when you're looking for peak data in your bioluminescent model. You don't necessarily need to take the images as fast as possible, but may want to delay them out and stagger them over the span of five to 10 minutes. Now, additional features here for Group Acquire can be seen in the left-hand side of each camera ribbon. You have the option to do photo in the first acquisition and then to use the last photo for ensuing acquisitions so as not to waste space with repeat white light images of your mice who aren't moving because they're underneath anesthesia. For the sake of full demonstration, let's look at the camera ribbon that's available to you when you choose fluorescence. If you choose fluorescence, you'll note that now you have the option to also uh, select the excitation and percent power along with the emission filter for your acquisition. Again, for our purposes here, we will stay with luminescence and that simplifies it simply down to exposure, binning, f-stop, and the selection of emission filter. If you'd like, typically in bioluminescence, you will not be using an emission filter. It will just be an open aperture to the camera. All right. So we will not use x-ray here. We will simply go ahead and use the 25 FOV and save as. And now close this secondary window. What you'll see every time you create a new group acquire is that if you select group acquire, which is the tab down here in the bottom left hand corner, the group acquire protocol that you have just set up will be presented here. After that, uh, it will be listed alphabetically in a pull down list and you can go ahead and find it accordingly. So how does one go ahead and take a group acquire? Well, we've just selected the group acquire acquisition type and we have our group acquire listed in the window designating which protocol will be used for the group acquire and we simply go ahead and click acquire. And what you'll see is now not a template for one image, but a template for six.
as there are six image acquisitions in the Group Acquire protocol. With all six images acquired, the first thing that you should do is go ahead and save the image set before conducting an analysis. Now, one final note on Group Acquire is that you obviously have the option to do multiple image acquisitions. In addition to that, you can do multiple iterations of an individual Group Acquire protocol. So if I wanted to run these set of six images more than once, let's say to guarantee that I caught uh, peak bioluminescent data, I could make the iteration value greater than one. I could increase it to two, three, or whatever value I chose. And I could put a delay feature in the running of each iteration. One heads up note is that it's typically a good idea to use or to create and then use uh, group acquire protocols that are 10 images or less. And I say this because if you make larger group acquires and for whatever reason, a mouse wakes up, something happens, and you need to abort the group acquire, that entire data set will be in RAM state, um, not saved, and you will have to reacquire the data. Um, so by keeping the individual group acquires of moderate size and then using multiple iterations with the download of each iteration, that data is saved. And if something should happen in a second or third or fourth iteration of the protocol, you will still have the data that was previously downloaded in prior iterations. All right. So this is basically how one does multiple imaging protocols in Aura through Group Acquire. Now, one of the neat things about Group Acquire is that it not only facilitates multiple image acquisition, it also facilitates multiple image analysis. Two examples of this are region of interest analysis and image annotation. When one draws an ROI on a single image, it is cross applied across all of the images of the Group Acquire. And when one annotates a single image in a Group Acquire, analogous annotations are applied across the entire group. These two analytical features can be demonstrated on this data set. So to demonstrate ROI analysis, we will go to toolbox, measure, use the elliptical ROI, and I'm just going to select image number one and draw an ROI. You can see that it is nicely cross applied to all the images. Secondarily, let's say you want to do annotation. I want to double click on this to magnify this image. And now you can go to the green triangle, which will give you access to the metadata of the image. And you can, let's say, select exposure time and bin. If you happen to use variable settings here, this kind of annotation is very useful to keep track of which image had which acquisition settings. Click OK. Let's back out. And you can see that that annotation is applied to the entire group. All right. So these are some of the special features in Aura for data analysis that are uniquely available to you when you acquire your images through Group Acquire. <music>